How does diet influence your sexual life? What are the cultural differences in female sexuality? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Diet can influence sexual life by affecting energy levels, cardiovascular health, and hormonal function. A balanced and healthy diet can contribute to better sexual health. Cultural differences in female sexuality are significant. Norms, beliefs, and attitudes about sexuality vary widely across cultures. This can influence sexual education, expectations, and perceptions of women's sexuality. Accessibility. Pornography has become increasingly accessible thanks to the internet, leading to an increase in the availability of free content and greater ease of access to it at any time and place. Acquired premature ejaculation. While some men experience premature ejaculation from the onset of their sexual life, others may develop it later due to factors such as stress, anxiety, or changes in the relationship. In some Amazonian communities in South America, knowledge about medicinal plants and traditional practices used to treat sexual and reproductive health issues, such as infertility and infections, is transmitted. Anorgasmia and clitoral stimulation. Most women experience orgasms through clitoral stimulation, so focusing on this area during sexual play can increase the likelihood of experiencing orgasms in individuals with anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and masturbation. Some individuals with anorgasmia may be able to experience orgasms through masturbation, but not during sexual intercourse with another person, suggesting possible psychological or emotional factors involved. Changing norms. Social and cultural norms surrounding open relationships are evolving. What was once considered taboo or unacceptable is now more widely accepted in many communities. Common fetishes. Sexual fetishes are intense desires towards objects, body parts, or specific situations. Some common fetishes include lingerie, feet, leather, latex, uniforms, and BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism. Congenital syphilis. If a pregnant woman has untreated syphilis, she can transmit it to the fetus, resulting in congenital syphilis. This can cause serious complications, including birth defects, premature birth, and even fetal death. Conscious breathing. Practicing conscious breathing during foreplay can help women connect more deeply with their bodies and sexuality, increasing feelings of relaxation and pleasure during sexual activity. Couple therapy. Couple therapy can be beneficial in addressing premature ejaculation as it can help improve communication, reduce anxiety, and develop joint strategies to overcome the problem. Cultural differences in sexual expression. The way sexual fantasies and fetishes are expressed varies widely among different cultures. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted or even celebrated in another. Cultural diversity. Pornography reflects a wide cultural diversity, with productions varying according to the preferences and taboos of different regions of the world, providing a window into the sexual expressions of diverse cultures. Definition. Premature ejaculation is defined as the inability to voluntarily control ejaculation during sexual activity, resulting in ejaculation that occurs too early and interferes with sexual satisfaction for both the individual and their partner. In some Scandinavian countries like Denmark, sex education has been introduced in nurseries for young children, aiming to teach them about the body, consent, and gender differences from an early age. Diversity of fetishes. There is a wide range of sexual fetishes, ranging from inanimate objects, body parts, specific activities, to particular situations or contexts. Some common examples include foot fetishism, bondage, voyeurism, among others. Dopamine effect. 
During foreplay, neurotransmitters like dopamine are released, which are associated with feelings of pleasure and reward, making foreplay a pleasurable and exciting experience for women. Edging Technique Edging, also known as getting close to the edge, involves stopping stimulation just before reaching orgasm to prolong pleasure and increase the intensity of the climax when finally allowed. Erectile Dysfunction and Acupuncture some studies suggest that acupuncture may be beneficial for improving erectile function by increasing blood flow to the penis and reducing anxiety. Erectile dysfunction and couples. Therapy. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a couple's relationship. Couples therapy can help address communication issues and improve sexual intimacy between partners. Erectile dysfunction and hormone therapy. In some cases, Testosterone replacement therapy may improve erectile function in men with low levels of this hormone, especially if erectile dysfunction is related to testosterone deficiency. Erectile dysfunction and medications. Some medications, such as antidepressants, high blood pressure medications, and tranquilizers, can cause or worsen erectile dysfunction as a side effect. Erectile dysfunction and prostate surgery. Prostate surgery, especially radical prostatectomy for prostate cancer, can damage the nerves and blood vessels necessary for erection, leading to erectile dysfunction. Evolution of fantasies. Sexual fantasies can change over time due to life changes, new experiences, and personal discoveries. Being open to exploration and communication can enrich sexual life and intimacy in relationship. Food fetishes. Some people experience sexual arousal by incorporating food into their intimate encounters, such as using chocolate, strawberries, or whipped cream during foreplay. In countries like France and Spain, comprehensive sex education policies have been implemented that include information on contraception, consent, and sexual pleasure, aiming to empower young people to make informed and healthy decisions about their sexuality. Glove fetishism involves sexual attraction to the use of gloves, whether latex, leather, or other material, which may be related to texture, shine, or association with certain roles or erotic activities. Guided meditation. Guided meditation can be an effective technique to induce a state of deep relaxation during foreplay, which can increase sensory receptivity and sexual pleasure. Impact of pornography. Pornography can influence people's attitudes and sexual behaviors, but it can also create unrealistic expectations about sex and the human body. Impact on self-esteem. Anorgasmia can have a negative impact on self-esteem and self-confidence, especially if the individual feels embarrassed or guilty for not being able to achieve orgasm. Importance of safe sex. Safe sex is crucial for preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. The use of condoms and other contraceptive methods is key to healthy sexuality. Incorporation of surprise elements. Introducing elements of surprise and novelty in foreplay, such as blindfolding or using surprise sex toys, can increase excitement and anticipation in the sexual experience. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.